Namaste and warm greetings to everyone. I am Borsha Baral, a chartered accountant currently working at CJ Holdings Chaudhary Group as Senior Manager for System and Process Compliance. Firstly, I would like to thank Women Icon Awards powered by Times Women and World Women Council for honoring me with the Young Women Leadership Award. I am pleased and humbled with this recognition. As an average student since high school, I was always told that I have chosen one of the toughest courses in this world for me and it is very unlikely to make it if you're not extraordinary. But I never believed in the concept of average and extraordinary. You are as average as you think you are and as extraordinary as you believe you are. My profession taught me that failure is just another opportunity to begin again, and this time with more efforts. It is very important to have good people in your life. I still remember when I first failed in my CA exam, my father, my Baba told me, that you are not the only one who have failed. It does not matter how many times you fail. What matters is how you respond to that failure. What matters is you never giving up on yourself and never giving up on your dreams. With the help of my friends, family, and my husband, I have been able to come out of my cell and I started believing that I am made for greater things. And to have that faith in me is in itself a fuel to grow bigger and get better. I know it's important to have motivating people in your life, but it is you and your self-motivation that stays with you forever and that keeps you going. We say we are progressive every day, but if we closely look at the data of International Labour Organization, the women labour participation globally has declined to below 50% in the last decade, before pandemic. And the pandemic made it even worse making a lot of women lose their job. And now the women labor participation is at 29%. I know gender equality is something that does not happen overnight. Social change is the ultimate tool for giving women equal opportunities. And it begins at our home by teaching our sons and daughters that they are equal, by changing the typical mindset of the society about what a woman can and cannot do. Today, I feel very lucky that my family and my workplace is very encouraging and is very inclusive about women. But I hope they will come soon where us women will not have to be lucky for getting the opportunities that we deserve on our merits. Thank you.